soul is tormented by a succubus Call assist, pants who dripping from the way I spit Fell in love well, it looks like My Hero Academia has taken over my channel this week because we've got some more stuff to talk about and some of you guys have heard about this and asked me, is this real? Or if I'm going to make a video about it and well, here's the video. Now, as for the question of is this real? Well, like most reports on things, there is both real and false information being spread around like crazy. So allow me, Konjic, or as the hotties call me, Mr. Long Tan and Handsome, to explain all this to you. Oh my gosh, did you hear what Konjic said on his video everyone get him and get the lifeguard and make sure you watch till the end because there's information throughout the entire video so you don't want to miss important things i tell you so word has floated around that my hero academia is getting a quote unquote new series but where exactly did this information floating around all come from well comicbook.com reported the other day that there was some interesting stuff and some new information made public for my hero academia's licensing the publication of license global posted a report regarding toho studio noting that the company was currently working on a number of other campaigns that would help spread the awareness of the hard-hitting shonen series now i did check out the licensing website and it says a bunch of stuff about a bunch of different companies but the company in question is toho animation and the studio that works on my hero academia it talks about different franchises the company works on but for my hero academia it says for my hero academia toho has plans for a new animated series retail campaigns and mobile games so, oh my gosh, that means it's confirmed, right? My Hero Academia is totally getting a news. Okay, stop partying, turn off the Octopimp music. The answer to the question on if this is confirmed is, well, maybe. The thing is, this information is coming from License Global. License Global isn't an actual government-owned thing or some service used to actually license things for companies. License Global is really just a company that publishes a magazine by the same name that gives reports on the business world. And this is definitely not a Japanese company, which means any potential information on this subject would be translated from Japanese and I have seen about a million news sources that mistakenly translate the words new season as new series so this could literally just be a mistranslation and they could literally just be talking about how they're making a new season there's also the fact that none of the official companies like Toha Animation, Shonen Jump, Shoeisha or the creator Hirokoshi himself have mentioned a new anime series but let's say this magazine which on its website says it has award-winning editorial content didn't translate this wrong and is completely right that we are getting a new series well i saw a lot of people on twitter saying that the new series is going to be my hero academia vigilantes which is a manga series that takes place in the same world as my hero academia but focuses on completely different characters you see that series actually focuses on its protagonist koichi and no not koichi Koichi from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. People always make that joke when I mention him, but I beat you to it. But Koichi, unlike Deku, actually has a quirk that developed in his body naturally rather than having one passed down to him. His quirk is called Slide and Glide. This means he's able to release energy from his body to slide all over plane surfaces. He does this by emitting force from his hands and feet. He can go backwards and up and down walls. He also has enhanced speed, can kind of shoot energy blasts, and can kind of float. The main idea of this story is the idea of what if someone wants to do hero work but doesn't necessarily want to join a hero agency and play by the rules. Well, that's a vigilante and Koichi starts off as just a kid doing basic work like helping with directions, but then of course the story gets much more serious. Now yeah, that would be my first choice and I would love that. I made a video actually two months ago titled My Hero Academia New Anime Releases That Need to Happen After Season 5 and Vigilante 
Vigilantes was focused on in that video. But you see, I actually think Vigilantes is the second most likely possibility, not the most likely. Like I said, there are more series under My Hero Academia's brand, and the pattern of anime spin-offs lately does not point to Vigilantes being the one to get an anime. Now, of course, there's always the spin-off series called My Hero Academia Team Up Mission. Team Up Mission is a series that focuses on all the characters of Class 1A being teamed up with each other in many different ways and scenarios so that they can learn to better control their specific quirks and fight crime by partnering up their abilities against other students. This isn't as dark of a series as Vigilantes or as different, obviously, but it does provide the same characters as the main series, which would automatically bring a loyal fan base to the show. But you see, the thing is, I think that's also an issue because it wouldn't feel that different from the regular series. It would just feel like random extra content. So I definitely don't think that that will be the one that gets adapted into a new anime. So Konjik, if it's not going to be Vigilantes and if it's not going to be Team Up Mission, what in the bloody hell is it going to be? What in the bloody hell is this anime going to be? What else is there? What else is there? Tell me! Well, I will show you the pattern of anime spinoffs so that way I can specifically say why this certain series is most definitely probably the number one most likely choice for a new anime spinoff for My Hero Academia. Naruto, one of the biggest Shonen Jump anime, got a spinoff anime called Rock Lee and His Ninja Pals, which is a chibi style comedy. Rock Lee is the best Naruto character, by the way. Attack on Titan, one of the greatest anime of our generation, got a spinoff called Attack on Titan Junior High, which is a chibi style comedy, and I highly recommend it. And most recently, Black Clover got a spinoff called Black Clover Squishy, which is, you know, a chibi style comedy. So what do you think My Hero Academia is going to get? Probably a chibi style comedy, and that would be My Hero Academia Smash, which you can read the manga of right now. Now, is this series? series canon? No, but that's really the point. It's meant to parody the main story. Much of the comedy of the series comes from depicting the everyday lives of the students of Class 1A and sometimes the villains of the show or parroting events of the main series. It's actually pretty freaking funny and I would love to see it as an anime. And for all the shippers in the community, this series actually provides a lot of fan service and yes, even for those that people get triggered for. Although it's usually meant to poke fun at the fact that that the community ships those characters together. Don't worry, it's not really something any fan would get triggered from considering a lot of parodies usually do this. Have you seen 50% off by Now, could it be Vigilantes? Well, yeah, but if you ask me, Smash is more likely even though I would want Vigilantes. But I want to thank you guys for watching today's video, and I would appreciate it if you left a like before you go. My name's Kondrick, and I'll talk to you in the next video.